All right, to Dre, this is for all you people who want to talk about turbo lag on the EcoBoost. Now, as you can see, I'm pulling the trailer. The Calac DeVille, that car is probably about 4,000 pounds. The trailer is about 2,000 pounds. So we're talking about at least 6,000 pounds on the back of a 4,700 pound truck. Here we go. We in tow haul mode. I'm coming down a slight hill, but I'm on level ground now. Should I should I take a turn the camera around so you can see the uh, RPM gauge? You can hear the motor. I don't know, about 25% throttle. By the way, the air conditioning is on. It's kind of hot today. It's, uh, it was set 80 degrees, but I guess it's 75 now. All right, we're going to come up on the red light here in a minute. This is about 1,300 pounds less than when I was pulling the Tahoe. Damn, we ain't coming to a complete stop, but you can see we're doing like 15 miles per hour. Now, does that look like turbo lag to y'all? Does that look like turbo lag to y'all? Why is this? I'm pulling the fella, you dumb bitch. I'm gonna pull over to the side of the road and we're gonna um there gonna be a zero to six to run but I stand still does that look like turbo lag to y'all does that look like turbo lag spot not quite half throttle, about 45, 40% throttle. Ain't even on the arm right yet. I was afraid to get in the last time, but I'm like, man, they tested these truck. They had them to, look, this one, this old bitch is sitting on 75 miles per hour. I ain't even on the first way, oh shit. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, this something got the death wobble, I hit the brakes, that some bitch with the wobbling, what I was doing, like 75 miles per hour, I almost crashed, I'm going to tell you something, don't pull a car with the damn motor facing backwards, do not, that was scary. But I learned, don't touch the brakes. When it started wobbling, don't touch the brake. Let go the damn brake. And that's when it started wobbling. Hell, it was running 75. I hit the brakes because I was doing 75 and I was about to hit this damn truck. That's why I hit the brakes. All right, I'm doing 55 now. That's what the damn computer, I mean, that's what the thing on the, on the uh, trailer say, 55. I'm doing 55. I'm in fifth gear. It's not wobbling as bad. Um, I mean, that, that would trip me out by these damn eco boosts. They don't, they don't, you know what I mean? People sit up and try to talk. Oh, 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 you need a V8 for touring. You need a V8 for touring. This bitch is pulling a hill. This bitch is pulling a hill. 55 miles per hour. And it was turning like two, I think it was less than 2,000 RPM. 
Now it was in, I think it was in fifth gear, less than 2,000 RPM, but all right, it's in sixth gear now. I'm doing 57. It ain't wobbling no more. It's trying to. This, I think the U Haul trailer, the wheelbase is too short. I think that's the reason why they wobble. And like I said, me having this car on backwards with the motor on the back of the trailer is not a good idea. The trailer, I mean, the motor need to be facing the front of the trailer, but you know, whatever. It was running smooth and setting the fire until I hit them damn brakes. This son bitch went to wobbling. All right, there's, there's another guy passing me. His trailer look like it's a longer wheelbase than my trailer. Now it's about the same. Well, no, it's, it's about the same. Maybe he just know how to drive and I don't. But that his motor is also facing forward too. My motor is facing back. I was, um, whatever. Whatever. I'm not going to try to turn it around. I'm going to leave it like it is. All right, I'm getting ready to pull a hill. I'm coming up on the hill. All right, I'm doing 57. Tow haul mode, cruise control is on, so the computer's controlling everything. This something is still trying to wobble. Right, let's see what's gonna happen. Right, that was the fifth gear. The torque converter is locked up. Um, it ain't dropping no lower than fifth gear. I'm still pulling the hill. Fifth gear, just under what about 1800 RPM? Tell me that ain't torque. They said, Oh, you need a V8 for low end torque. Can't kiss my butt. Apparently, not. I mean, I'm pulling a freaking Calac DeVille, pulling the hill, not a big hill, but they're pulling the hill 57 miles per hour, fifth gear, less than 2000 RPM. But people swapping down, you need a V8 for towing. Yeah, whatever. I'm on a slide here now. Y'all seen that that video with the with the F-150 pulling the Jeep, keeping up with traffic. Hey, look, y'all. I'm keeping up with traffic. 2.7 EcoBoost. Now, the only reason why they leaving me is because this fool in front of me driving slow. Look, y'all, keeping up with traffic. All right, two, we're going to pull off again, sitting on the hill. And we're going to try to stay with traffic. Can I do it? 2.7 equal boost. Pulling the Calac DeVille on the U-Haul trailer. And look, I'm keeping up with the damn Buick. I had let off the gas. <laughs> oh my God. This sucker was spinning. And no, it was not on the floor. It was not on the floor. I just, I was adding power and it broke loose. Oh, you ain't going nowhere, lady. You ain't going nowhere. Oh, shit. 
Going too fast. That's crazy, man. I mean, that is amazing. 2.7 liter V6, 165 cubic inch, pulling full size four door F-150, pulling a, I don't know, 4,000 pound Cadillac, spinning the tires. Yes, I know it's in the rain, but still, I'm pulling the trailer and it's spinning. All right, we're gonna try another pull off. I'm gonna start off soft and then I'm gonna kind of put my foot into it. And y'all watch the wheel break loose again. The road is still wet, but we on level ground now. Still pulling the Cadillac DeVille. <laughs> Still keeping up with traffic, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Check this out, too. I just stopped. The pipes coming off the turbos, they're warm, they're hot, but as you can see, I can hold my hands on them. So, what did that tell me? The turbo is working, but they're not as working as hard as people think they are. Now here's the other one way down here. Well, I can go right here. They're hot, but they're not real hot. Not as hot as I thought they would, because I forgot to do this the last time I was touring. I forgot to check the temperature of the uh, boost tubes. They're hot, but they're not that hot. Now this is the one coming off the uh, intercooler. It's a little cooler. So, so, I mean, the turbos are working, but they're not working as hard as people think they are. And they damn sure ain't red hot. And yes, I am still pulling the Cadillac. Y'all have a good day.